Hey, welcome back, guys. It's Slider Havoc here, and we are back on the Revenge of the Seam Team server. And I'm sorry, I get a, I get a kick out of this every time I go into first-person view and I see this. I guess whatever apparently is in your, like, number one slot, like, kind of sticks on your back. But for whatever reason, uh, the rifle doesn't, like, you know, go across. Like, see, yeah, it's in my chest and coming out my back like that, right? But... Like, say if I've got my Spectre key or whatever, right? Then it's just, like, on my back. You can kind of see it under my armor there. If I take my armor off, you guys will see it. Yeah, there's the key on my back or whatever through my exoskeleton spine. Um, yeah, it's just funny. I get a good kick out of it, and you can kind of see it in the image right there. Uh, it's funny. But anyways, I digress. Today, we are going to get going on a little bit of blood magic. I, uh, I, I've kind of dodged blood magic for a while, and I've mentioned that because of uh, how much time I spent on it with my last series. But you know what? There's so much cool stuff that I really want to do um, that actually includes stuff with blood magic, and that's what I want to do today. So today, I think we're going to make up a couple sigils um, because there's a couple cool ones. And uh, I got thinking about this when I was doing my Tinker's Construct stuff. And, oh, I forget the sigils. There we go. And I was doing some lava, right? And I was like, well, you know what? I can just make lava using all this stuff. I just need to get myself six lava buckets, a magma cream, a blank slate, and this lava crystal. And this lava crystal is uh, three, you know, blah, blah, blah. You see it all right there, right? And my magician's orb. And I've, I can do this. Like, I can easily do this. So I just need to make some buckets. And I don't know if I have enough um, in here. I got two. Cool. And I can grab that water bucket too. And bingo, bango. Oh, all right. And let's see. I don't know. Yeah, see what I, what it started this whole thought process. Well, every single time with that freaking alt boom, boom um, I was looking in here and I was like, well, I'm kind of getting low on lava. Do I have enough to take a? No, I don't even have enough to take a bucket out. But I do have the lava generator over here, and if all else fails, I can go down to my mine. I know I've got some uh, lava down in the mine area. Come on. But, um, and I was thinking about, hey, you know, there's a lot of cool stuff on Blood Magic that I haven't even, like, you know, looked into in I don't know how long. And it really got me thinking, like, you know what, I really need to, if anything, just kind of get my altar started. Because there's a lot of cool stuff I can do with it. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so you're generated. So this is just one bucket in here. Well, that'll fill up eventually, right? I can just dump this water in there, and we'll get that lava crystal going. Uh, but I do know I want to work on the like the blood magic area because I want to generate a, um, I believe it's called a well of sorrow or well of sacrifice or something like that. Well, we're gonna place it under the altar, and what is gonna happen is it's gonna automatically take life points from any entities like mobs and stuff like that that are in the area, and it's gonna put the life essence into the altar. So I'm, I'm all about that, right? Free blood in the altar, right? But I, I'm, I'm thinking, see down in this area under here, I want to use some of this, um, I forget what the name of the earth, the grass is. It's growing in here, which is why I haven't actually changed this. Oh yeah, look at that. So I, I kind of went with an expensive door, but uh, I think it's cool looking. I don't know, it's pretty. Diamond door, right? This stuff right here, cursed earth, right? So I'm gonna have to get silk touch on something and uh, pick up the stuff because I want to put like a whole layer of it uh, down under the well or under my uh, altar, and then that way those mobs will constantly be spawning there, and I'll basically just have you know basically like a spawner, like unlimited spawners and stuff like that, and I'll just keep the area super dark and they'll continue to spawn, and yeah, so that's the objective. <laughs> I've also got one other thing I want to do, but I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to do in this episode. But the first thing I need to do is I want some glass. Um, so, well, this isn't the first thing I need to do. But this is the first thing I'm going to do. Um, I only need that much cobble for right now. I need some really cool looking glass. And uh, it's a chisel glass, but i got to do it with thickened glass. So apparently what thickened glass is, is sand and glass. Woo, come on. And it gives you this, uh, like this weird mixture stuff. So I believe if you throw cobble in here, the output is sand, I believe. And then you're going to go in here, sand is going to be glass. Okay, cool. So I need, yeah, that whole stack. And then I need to make sure that, uh, this doesn't take the next stack. Okay. So we'll keep, we'll get that going. I get 64 glass there. And 
The other thing I need to do is make an excavator, which is right over here. I can do that pretty easily. Let me get these out of the way for a second. I'm like multiple things, trying to do them all simultaneously. So we'll see how well this is. I know I'm gonna be kind of all over the place, but I've got a lot of materials. Uh, that quarry in the deep dark is doing great things for me. Um, excavator, if remember it's an excavator head, a tough rod, this plate, and I believe the tough binding. But you know what? I want a paper handle because I want to be able to put some mods in. So we're going to grab this guy right here. And we always want to go with manilium because I just think, I don't know if it's necessarily the fastest, but it's awesome stuff. Uh, where's my manilium? Am I out of manilium? Liquid redstone, aluminum, cobalt, blood, bronze, aluminum, brass, iron, molten tin, Electrum and conductive red metal. Okay, so I got a lot of stuff, but I think I am actually out of manilium now. Um, is that alumite? No, it's aluminum. Hmm. What do I have of cobalt? How much is that? That's two ingots. <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry, clearing the throat. Uh, how many? How many does it need? Oh, that's eight. Nope. Uh, invar is a pretty good material, though. Got a lot of invar, don't I? Invar, oh, that's 10, that's Invar, 22 ingots, All right, there we go, that should be some good stuff. All right, so we'll do you, and then, do I still have any liquid obsidian in here? Two ingots, how much is for this? That's three, yeah, this just isn't working out. Um, aluminum's kind of weak, bronze, yeah, I guess we'll do some, some lead for this plate, the large plate. And I just like to do different materials because I know they all kind of have a different, I think like Electrum gives like some shiny thing or I don't know. It's just fun. So we're going to do Electrum in this one. All right. So I got you. Come on. Tell me. Did, did I do lead? Lead, right? I did lead. Oh, I switched it. Darn it. Finished doing that. <clears throat> I switched you too quickly and you didn't finish. All right, there we go. And then one, two, three. I'm good with those. I can put you guys back. And then I need to go grab some paper. Or, haha, -ha, perfect. Don't even have to grab the paper. I basically have the paper right here. So we'll go ahead and take you. And one more, just to replant you. Don't like to uproot a lot of stuff. I don't even remember the last time I used that sugar cane, actually. Um, okay, so you like this paper. Uh, what's the... Oh, three. Perfect. Uh, part builder. You're over here? Yes. So we're going to make a paper handle. Wait. Two or three? Is it down here? Why is this not working? Can I not make a tough rod out of paper? Does it... I, I could have sworn you could make a tough rod out of paper. Hold on. I could have sworn you made a tough rod out of paper. Yeah, it's like really bad. Durability modifier is like way down. It makes it really cheap, but you can do that. Yes. Hold on. Let's see if I need more paper. Maybe it's just doing something weird here. Let's see. Oh, make a bunch of paper. That'll give me, well, that'll definitely give me more than enough. Because, oh, come on. Get out of there. There we go. Every time with that stinking Powser thingy. My ultrasonic. Okay. So, let's see. In there now. Okay. So, it's using six. Interesting. No problem. Not a problem. So, now we can put this bad boy together. And I want to kind of make a really cool one because I haven't really messed with Tinkers all that much. I mean, I've remade a couple tools because I've made mistakes and died and whatnot. And uh, done stupid stuff and lost it. Fancy, that's the thing. Um, Stone modifier, mining speed's pretty slow. We can do that. Durability is not too shabby, 1840. And I got four modifiers on it. So what I think I'm going to do is uh, make a silk, uh, silk touch thing. Because I want to be able to get that cursed earth up and be able to move it under my altar. And so I think I'm going to need some materials from here. Um, I know it's like a silky, 
it's this jewel, jewel right here, okay? So it's an emerald with these silky cloths. Silky cloths are uh, just string wrapped around an aluminum brass nugget. Or can I do gold? Okay, I can do gold. And I think I've got plenty of string. So I'm going to need 8, 16, 24, 32. Oh, I've gone into full screen before. Let's fix that. Um, I need you. I need 32 of you. And then I'm going to need one piece of gold to get some nuggets. And what else was I going to need? Oh, an emerald, uh, which I happen to have two of. So we're good there. And then we'll be able to apply some silk touch on this bad boy. And we will be good to go. All right. There we go. Silky cloth. Got four of them now. And then. And now we've got the silky jewel. Now we can go put this bad boy on, and then my excavator will have silk touch, and I'll have this, whatever that earth is called, and awesome stuff will happen. Awesome things will happen. All right, so this is my first modifier. Yes, it now has silky. That's awesome. I look at this like just glue on the end of the thing. But I want to get this up because I think it'll make an awesome thing for... Uh, Let's see. Uh, let me just take a corner of it. I don't need to take it all. Yes, it does work. Yeah. And because I think it'll just be evil until we actually get going on this, I think it'd be really, really cool just to have it kind of like sizzling down here. Um, hmm. Oh, wow. I'm going to get a lot of grass blocks right now, too. Okay, so this is. Uh, uh, shoot his feet. Shoo. Leave me alone. Okay. I know that this is going to be. I'm going to be putting a ritual down here, and the ritual is going to be, like, right here. And I just saw that creeper. I, like, I kind of bypassed. I was like, man, no big deal, creeper. No, that guy is going to do something mean to me. All right. Oh, I don't have my hammer on me. I wasn't thinking about the fact that, hey, eventually the grass is going to run out, and you're going to need more than that. Oh, goodness gracious. Silly mistakes sometimes. Just silly mistakes. So... I will need a hammer as well, but I'm going to go ahead and where this is all at. Um, oh, I can just dig it out with this real quick. These nine squares right here, I'm going to put down the score, uh, the sacred earth or whatever it's called. What is it called? Cursed earth. So we're going to put that right there and then it'll just spread over to these. I'm under that thing, right? Yeah. So that'll just spread. And I don't think it'll jump block, so I'm okay for right now. And let's go check on our sand that is cooking up because we want to make um, the thickened glass so I can kind of do the under area there. And then I can, you know what? Oh, wait, hold on. Is my hammer on me? I know I have a hammer somewhere. I don't have it on me. Okay. <clears throat> but that's okay. That's okay. All right, so I should have 64 glass. I do. I hear spiders. Spiders can actually get me in here. Although, I think the there's a little bit too much force pulling it into this thing, so maybe they can't. <laughs> All right, we're going to go ahead and turn you off for right now. So you don't cook... Oh, gravel, cool. So you don't cook up my sand this time. And I don't know if it's going to export. It's still going to export them, but it's just not going to cook them, right? Yes. Okay, cool. So that's going to make my sand up. And now I can go grab my hammer. I know I've got a hammer somewhere. I want to clean up that area so we can do that. Oh, lava. I should probably grab that too. Um, I do have a hammer, but it is really, really wore out. This was a lazy attempt at a hammer right there, too. That is just pure laziness. Uh, do I have blood in here? Yes, I do. Let's go ahead and get its durability up a little bit. That should be pretty good. And you know what? I got some more. Let's get some more blood in there. Just to get the durability up as much as possible. I do want to go back into this evil craft stuff pretty soon, too. I want to take a good look at that. Because the evil craft stuff is actually really cool. And uh, I just didn't spend a lot of time, you know, doing too much with it. But I do want to go back to it because, well, like I said, 
it's pretty cool. All right, so I got my hammer. Um, I should probably go grab another lava bucket real quick since I've got some on me. And I want to make... Hey, 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 what are you doing over here? Go away. Don't you guys know I don't like you? I'm not your friends. I don't know why you guys always want to hang out at my house. I didn't invite you over here. You are not welcome. Right, there's one more. And that should be going. Alright, so we can go clear this area out and start kind of visualizing how I want to build it. Because, ah, uh, come on. There we go. There's a lot we can do here. A lot, a lot, a lot. All right. Well, hi, guys. Wow, they're not even shooting at me. That's crazy. Like, do you guys not even notice me? How did... Ooh, an extra head. Cool. In case I ever need a new one. Uh, let's see. Hammer. So, I kind of put that dirt in the wrong spot, but it's okay, because I now have my my trusty silk touch excavator so I can just pick my stuff up and move it if I need to okay so I know this is going to be the level um this level right here is going to be where my block is at so I want to go like four lower one two three four yes I know you should never just mine down like that but you know what I live dangerously all right and then from this block right here to I forget oh shoot go into bat mode real quick it's what one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven okay so it's eleven total across and it does an eleven by eleven area so it does it all the way across this whole thing uh, so let's say one two three four five six seven eight 9, 10, 11. Oh, wow. How awesome am I? I'm, like, amazing and stuff. I, right? Just totally amazing. I am, like, the best Minecraft player ever. Or, like, the worst one ever. Because if you've watched any of my uh, Terror Restorer series, you realize I can die at a moment's notice. I'm really, really, really not good on keeping up on uh, watching my life and stuff. So, I make mistakes. Uh, let's see. I know this is going to kind of look very awkward and stuff for a moment. So I'm just trying to get a feel for it. Exactly where I'm going to be like putting stuff. So if you haven't quite figured out what I'm doing, don't worry because I don't think I have either. Alright, cool. This is basically just so I know where I want to put everything. I don't need andesite and I don't need dorite. Alright. I always take marble, though. I do like marble. I don't need any dirt. Okay. So, yeah. So, this is going to be where we are going to set up our cursed earth and stuff. And so, I don't know. I'm thinking that I kind of want to try to make it really pretty down here. Which is why I'm making that thickened glass in the first place. The glass I was talking about. Because I want to be able to have it be a viewing area. So I can kind of at least see the mobs and make sure everything's like functioning properly. And uh, there we go. And the only way I can do that is, you know, if I put in like a glass area. And I think I might like light the stuff up and I don't know, we'll see. It's it's all a, a thought process that, you know, it'll come in time. We will see. Oh, really? You didn't pick up that gem? You picked up the cobble instead, okay. Um, cobble. I don't need you right now. Don't need you. Yeah, I'm just getting more and more. Okay. So, thinking. See that mob right there? He'd be suffering for me right now. He would be taking a beating. All right. So it's gonna be one, two, three, four. Yes, I think this will actually be the layer for the cursed earth. Let's go ahead and plop a couple blocks down real quick. And then, you know, I should probably light this place up. If I'm going to be putting this cursed earth down, I should probably be lighting this place up. And I think right on top of the cursed earth is the best place to do it. Okay. So, did I go to the corner yet? Yes. So this whole area is going to be turned into cursed earth. Um, 
Yeah, it's gonna be right there. Oh, that wall is gonna be that too. How did you not break? Oh, good grief, it broke on me. It's okay, we will go repair this bad boy up. Not a problem. Hey, hey. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah, back off, homie. But at least this way I'll get the stuff to spread right now. <clears throat> and I can go make some of my glass and kind of check out the viewing area. But I do want to get those sigils done. And I've got probably about yeah, a couple more minutes left in this episode. And uh, I really want to get the blood magic sigils done because they're so freaking cool. Um, yeah, there we go. How's that looking in the way of, okay, put you there, put you there. All right, cool. And we will fly out of here for right now. Oh, I hate when those X's are still visible. <coughs> and we will craft ourselves up some of this awesome thickened glass. It's just really cool looking because some of the uh, stuff you can do with it is, I don't know, it's pretty snazzy. Uh, the chisel mod. Chisel mod's just awesome. I love it. There we go. So now we got some of the sandy glass. And now we throw the sandy glass in the redstone furnace and turn it back to ignore. And this should give us the thickened glass. Yes. Okay, cool. Well, while that's doing that, I can go get my last bucket of lava. And I should be able to make that uh, lava sigil. Yeah. Am I still on it? Nope. Lava. There it is. Lava sigil. So I'm going to need six buckets of lava. I need this lava core. That's what I need. I got that. I got that. I got glass. I got the diamond. Cool. We can go make this bad boy really quick. I don't remember if I ever put a crafting table over here. Don't think I did. But I've got my orb, which I need. Which is all I need right now. Okay. And I've got a diamond in my golden bag of holding here. Yeah, so now I've got at least one. There we go. And, oh, I just need glass. Do I have regular glass on me? Nope. And just put a whole bunch of it in my smelter, though. Or redstone furnace. Uh, let me dump off some stuff I don't need. The marble, or the cobble, or the copper, or the gravel, or the cobble. Did I did I have two stacks of this? I didn't realize it was a one for one. Cool. I've got a lot of that being made then. Um, glass, glass. There it is. Two of these, and that else give me the lava core, which then I can use to make this thing. Right? Yeah. Oh, I need obsidian. I got lots of that. There we go. Thank you. Oh, two of them. There we go. And lava core there. What am I missing? One, two. Right. Oh, because it's trying to do it with that one or something? I don't know. You, 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 there, 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 and there. There we go. Got the lava crystal. Cool. And then all I need is that. No. No, no. You. A blank slate, six of those, and a magma cream. And I should have some blaze left. I don't have any blaze powder. Really? Really? Uh, I should probably spell blaze properly, but wow, I don't have any of that. Um, hey, let's go take a trip to the nether in my brand new portal. Uh, do I have a flint and steel on me? Yes, I do. Let's go kill a blaze real quick. Actually, I might do this off camera because we're running out of time and I want to get this guy built. Clicky clicky. What? Hold up. Does this have to be a flat bottom thing? I thought it'd be really cool if I, oops, had like the same design as the other portal over there. Maybe it has to just be a perfect square. Why am I so noobish about some of this stuff? It's kind of saddening. All right, you go there, you go there. All right, which means I have a feeling I'm gonna have to drop that block down right there, so. It's okay. I guess it's not all that bad. Come on. 
Come on. There we go. Still looks kind of cool. It's got like pitchforks now. I think that's fitting. All right. Here we go. There we go. I'm going to go back into human form. And did I pick up that slab? Yes, I did. Let's go ahead and put that back in place before I... Uh... Oh. Can't do it through the portal. All right. And let's go take a trip to the nether real quick and see if we can find ourselves a blaze. Uh, I should probably try to catch one of the safari net because I do plan on making a uh, auto smelter. Or not auto smelter. Sorry. Um, grinder. Whatever you want to call it. And uh, what is it called? Auto spawner. Yes, that's that's the word I was looking for. I do want to find an auto spawner eventually. Or make an auto spawner eventually because I want to reproduce that uh, cobblestone for my um, anomaly. So I can keep feeding it and keep my matter levels up and stuff like that. So yeah. Well, I'm going to go ahead and uh, search for a, uh, I don't know, a blaze anywhere. Like a nether fortress or whatever, and I'll, I'll come back as soon as I find one. As I'm passing by, I want to talk about this guy really, really quickly. This is Anu. This is a statue of Anu. I believe we saw him in one of our first episodes when I came to the nether. Anu is going to take us to a very special place. Because as you know, I've been on a kick with alternate dimensions. Oh, perfect. Like, there was one right here. And uh, with the, the love of these alternate dimensions, I happen to find one through Anu. Okay, I've got a really good, like... Did I get a... Yeah, I got a necrotic bone. Man, I have been trying to get necrotic bones forever. That is the first one. Okay, cool. Um, oh, there's the spawner right there. Let's get ourselves some... Come on. Come on. Come on. So anyways, uh, Anu is the way to another dimension that we'll probably be checking out pretty soon. I don't know how soon, but I mean, relatively. Come on. Okay, cool. As long as we got one for right now. Not trying to spend too much time getting them. Did I get at least one? Yeah, I got two. Cool. So we're going to head back and uh, yeah, Anu is going to be our friend. Can you give me another necrotic bone? Oh, oh, oh! No, I'm not going to try to chase you. Did you give me a necrotic bone? Nope, just some XP. Okay. Oh, where did my portal go? I'm looking for the dots. Came right through here. We were talking about Anu, who's over here. Yeah, there he is. Oh, thorns. Watch out. There's the portal. Okay, so we can make our blaze powder. Oh, you know what? Ah, oh, man. I wish I had some iron right now because I could have just filled up all my buckets. <sighs> Heck. Oh! Oh, thank goodness. I thought I just threw my freaking gun in lava. That would have been a sad, sad day. Yeah, what I think I'll do here, I'm going to pause, go make a couple more buckets. I'm going to run down here because I don't want to keep trying to refill... Uh, my buckets with the uh, lava fabricator. That thing is basically just for, you know, creating my cobblestone and obsidian and stuff like that. So I'm going to go ahead and cut out right here. And we'll be back shortly. All right, guys. So we have made it back. And I'm uh, just going to turn that off real quick. There we go. And now we should be have everything we need to do to make this awesome sigil. Um, oh, before I run away, I believe I've got the... Uh, the part I need over here one of these blank slates if not I can make one really quick ah really falling all the way down is that how we're gonna roll um no but I do have stone okay all right and just in case hey hey what, what kind of nonsense are you up to, man? I don't bother you guys. I don't understand why you guys always want to bother me. Oh, take it out. Take it out. Take it out. Take it out. Uh, uh. Take it out. Good. Okay. Not trying to make the next level one. Okay. Here we go. So, we are looking for the sigil of lava. Lava sigil. Here we go. Uh, buckets. Oh, magma cream. I've got the blaze. I don't have the slime ball on me. All right. I'm going to get this bad boy done and lay down some lava. 
right? Make sure it's working all fancy snatchy and stuff. Um, what do I need? Slime ball. Not a climb ball, a slime ball. There we go. One of you. Thank you. And make you. Oh, there we go. There we go. Take you out. Blank slate. This thing. Lava. Oh, wait. I think I can shift click in this one. Yes. Okay, so we got the lava sigil. Let's go test this bad boy out. Oh! Oh! That was bad. Um, where I got empty buckets, right? Yeah. Don't right click with the lava in your hand. Just throwing that out there, guys. The that that was not smart. But hey, the sigil works. Awesome, right? The sigil works. So that was cool, but uh, the the let's see. Oh yes, I can just click the lava right in. Sweet. So yeah, basically unlimited lava now. I do want to make a couple of the other sigils, but I'm not going to do that right now because this episode has already ran longer than I had intended. And uh, in the off time, I think I'm going to head over here and uh, keep clearing out this area to uh, start making a really pretty little underbelly to the uh, portal here. And let's kill these rascally freaking vermin <laughs> around here. Where you at? Freaking creepers and zombies and no, you go away. All right, so I hope you guys are enjoying. Um, I hope you guys had fun. I know I did. I really, really, I'm digging on this mod pack and all the fun stuff we can do with it. And uh, guys, if you guys are enjoying, please let me know. Uh, you know, subscriptions and likes are cool and all stuff like that. But just in the comments, things you're enjoying seeing, things you want to see more of, and if you feel like you know a uh, a like is do by all means uh let me know and uh subscriptions guys like i said before in my last episode we are creeping up on uh 100 subscribers and i would love to do something really special for my 100 subscriber uh you know episode so that is coming up so until next time guys i am slatter havoc this is the revenge of the c team server unofficially and i'm out of here peace